the craft of songwriting, and it is very much a craft. And so my position on songwriting is this. I believe songwriting is the most important aspect of the entire music industry. <laughs> In other words, you can have the best sales team, you can have the best marketing plan and the best uh, you know, the advertisement and the biggest budget in the world, and it is not going to give you a hit song. And regardless of what your opinion on pop music is, a hit song is a hit for a reason. It, it represents uh, a large number of people, okay, that have spent their money on that song. So it must be worth something if people are willing to pay money for it. That equals value, okay? So all the, all the price is, is what are you willing to pay for it? So uh, if you're just joining us, we're talking about songwriting. What, in your opinion, makes a great song? Okay, does it have anything to do with value? Does it have anything to do with uh, with money at all, or is it just uh, the song and the craft and the arrangement and style of the song? Now, a song it it has to have a feeling to it, right? It has to make you feel a certain kind of way. If you don't feel like anything, most people would say it's not a great song. But what is your opinion on that? What, what, is, what is the most important quality? And we're going to answer that question later. But for now, let's define what we're talking about here. So what is a song? A song, the definition of a song is this. It's a short poem or other set of words set to music or meant to be sung. So this is in the definition. Now, you jazz guys out there, you uh, instrumental fusion cats, um, you might not agree with this definition because does a song necessarily need words? Well, in this uh, show here, we're talking about hits, okay? We're talking about the big boy songs. And 100% of, of hits, basically, uh, have words. So a song is defined, in this segment, we're talking about a, a set of words set to music, all right? Now, what is write? So a, to write is defined as mark or, or a surface, typically with paper, pencil, or similar implement, or maybe a stylus on a vinyl record, or maybe ones and zeros on a CD, or maybe bits and, and kilobytes flying through cyberspace into your streaming service, Spotify, what, what have you. So that's what a song is. That's what writing is. We put those things together. It's to take that song. It's words, right? We got the music. We smash them together, and then we have to put it on something. So that's what the, the like act of songwriting is. And if you're not doing that, you're not writing songs. So why is the song the most important thing, in my opinion? Because... It has to do with the nature of the business. It has to do with rights. It has to do with law. Okay, so if you own the song, then you own all the recordings of that song, right? Uh, so it's just like if I write a book and somebody plagiarizes my book, well, they don't own it just because they wrote it. It's still mine. You know, I, I own any replication of that. So this is the crux of what I'm talking about. If you write the song, you own all the recordings, you own all the rights, you own everything. So this is my goal in life, is to create songs that, that are, are mine, and they're new. And it's adding something to the conversation. So a great example of this is a song called Uptown Funk. How many of you guys out there are familiar with the tune Uptown Funk? Starts off with a little funky bass line, sounds something like this. Right? Bunch of do do do's, do 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 do, right? So, who owns Uptown Funk? In other words, who wrote it? Because the, the guy that wrote that, that said, okay, well, we're going to take a D and we're going to hop up and we're going to have a little fast rhythm, we're going to bring some drums in, some claps, and st who came up with that? The answer is Mark Ronson. Now, who's Mark Ronson, right? He's not the guy singing the song. <laughs> He's not the one in the hat and the, the 
the shirt and dancing around and having a good old time in the music video. I mean, maybe he is. Maybe he's in the background somewhere. I'm, I'm not 100% on that. But Mark Ronson created Uptown Funk. So every time that song sells a copy, they, then Mark Ronson is the guy getting paid. So this is a great example to me because in, in the music business of today, I would much rather be Mark Ronson <laughs> rather than Bruno Mars. But Bruno Mars is the star. He could have written Uptown Funk. He, he just, he didn't. He's a star who didn't write <laughs> Uptown Funk. Uh, so that's the first little uh, part of my case here. 